What do you do when your neurosurgeon tells you those nerves aren't going to regenerate and you're going to have to live with your body the way it is now? And the way it is now has pretty severe limitations. Hi, I'm Reverend Allie Bierman. I'm very glad you joined us here today for a gathering of Metaphysical Ministry International. What's a metaphysical ministry all about? Well, you see, the universe provides a very rich experience for us. However, we miss 99% of it if we use only our five senses to access it. So what we're doing here is showing you the possibilities of allowing all these other dimensions and experiences to enrich your life. Begin every week with a happy share, and it's something that makes you happy. And for me, I had a huge happy share. I was able to finish writing and upload to Amazon Kindle two books this week. See, with all the limitations that I've had since that surgery, there's not a whole lot I can do that I used to do, but I can write. I can write on days when I have the energy and the focus. And I do it in bits and pieces, so it's a really big deal that I finish those two books. Because I used to sit down and put out a book like that a day. So, what made you happy today? Why don't you go on down below and tell us your happy share? Because you know what happens? When you share something that left you feeling happy, calm, at peace, that means you're looking for them in your life. Uh, when you look for them, yeah, find them. And what's really cool is there are lots of them. And the universe looks at you and says, wow, you're looking for things that make you happy. I'm going to give you a whole lot more for what to be happy. So I wanted to talk with you about what do you do when someone tells you your life is like this and those important nerves just aren't going to regenerate because they would have done so a whole long time ago. Well, first of all, I have a choice here. I don't have to buy into his paradigm. He's a medical doctor. He's a fantastic medical doctor. And it's his paradigm. Now, it's not something as simple as the nerves were just cut. These nerves, major cranial nerves that run all kinds of things in my body. Big piece was taken out of each of them. So what I need to do is get those ends from the cut end the top and the cut end the bottom to regenerate. And I believe it's possible. And I ask you for your love and your prayers and your light and assistance in accomplishing what truly be a miracle. I'm experienced with miracles. In 1996, when I suffered that brain injury as a psychotherapist, well, back then they told me I wasn't going to heal. And in fact, when I did heal, the doctor in charge of my case, he wrote the word miracle in my records. It wasn't miracle. It was learning how to be who I had to become to heal, which is what I'm doing once again now. I get to become somebody new again. So you see, that's the gift. And I figure when I woke up from the surgery, I could barely move. I had a whole lot of numbness through my body. I had no muscle tone. I couldn't speak. I couldn't swallow. I couldn't even generate saliva. Ugh. Artificial saliva is ugh. Anyhow, here I am. I'm speaking to you. Maybe I don't have a voice 100% of the time. But I've got one right now. <laughs> and I've got a mic right here so you can hear me. The point is, I'm getting better, which means nerves are doing something to heal. And with all the love and caring and energy work, but one of my very special friends and all the people supporting me with their modalities, I'm going to get there. I know I am. Because that's who I am. I know no challenge comes into my world. And no challenge comes into your world without solutions. Now healing doesn't mean you get to be who you used to be. doesn't mean you get to be how you used to be. It means you're okay with who you are 
as you are in the moment and you go from there. Now, I wanted to talk with you about something really special. Those two books that I finished, one is called Mental Illness, What Happens When the Brain Misfires? The other is also very pertinent to this site. It's called Cat Lovers, A Story For You. And it's about the spiritual connection between my cat and me. It was spiritually connected on a soul level. It's about the last few years of his life. It's about the grief I went through as I saw him deteriorate and the bereavement of actually letting him go and the incredible experience that happened as he left and afterward. Now the mental illness, this is of interest to everybody because we all know somebody who's depressed or anxious. Maybe you know somebody who's got bipolar or schizophrenia. Maybe you have older parents who are suffering with dementia or Alzheimer's. You see, in this book, I don't just tell you about my personal experiences as a psychotherapist, as a daughter of someone with depression and schizophrenia, and as someone in the healthcare system, which happened after the brain injury. I also show you why and how those conditions are reversible and perhaps more importantly preventable if you're a parent or if you're an adult with an older parent it's so critical for you to know this information so please if you're on my site metaphysicalministryinternational.com go in down below this video find out how you can get the mental illness book on Monday for only 99 cents Monday only and the cat lover story on Tuesday Tuesday only for 99 cents thank you so much for coming by now if you haven't done so already go in up there see the hold the space page if there's something in your life you want to manifest and it's not in your reality maybe it's you want to live someplace different. Maybe you want a new partner. Maybe you want a new career. I don't know what it is. If there's something that you do know you want, and you let us know down there, I'll put it up there too. You come back at least once a week, read each name and the request, because you know what happens. The universe knows who they are. You don't have to. And your thought form, your request, it starts out little. Every person who's reading it is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So the universe sees it and will bring it to you faster, always in divine time. If you haven't done so already, go on over there, get your copy of How to Take Your First Steps on Your Spiritual Journey. And I super appreciate your clicking on like and share. Spread the word. Because I started this online ministry because I was unable to find a spiritual community where I lived. And I figure, oh, but there are lots of people in the world in that situation. So thank you for coming by. I wish you a week filled with many, many blessings. And please, bless others with those two books. Let them know about them. I'll see you next week. That's probably even better. It's different. Yeah, it's different. Oh boy. Oh. Say that.